Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. We finally have three colonists and we have a baby on the way. Um, looks like um, third trimester. I don't, it doesn't say how long it's going to be until the animals, uh, not the animal, the baby is born, but I'm guessing it's going to be one or two days now because we got the six day warning a few days ago. Um, we're also taking care of an alpha beaver for a masterwork recurve bow, which is going to um, improve our defensive capabilities a lot when we get this into the hands of Tronka, whose shooting skill now should be pretty high. Yeah, shooting skill level 9 already. We'll have Tronka as a shooting expert in no time. Now, Voronov, we don't know if... Um, he can be trusted just yet. Um, he has a tentacle for an arm. He looks disgusting and um, The game's introduction to this character even warned us that we're not sure of his intentions But for now we really just need all the extra help we can get so He's helping out as our resident hauler and janitor and researcher um, Meanwhile Minyaka and Tronka can focus on other tasks We have a new quest called Chalaki's travelers. Chalaki and another desperate refugee are approaching. They say that crop blights their and uh, that crop blights starve them out of their village. Chalaki begs you for permission to stay at Aswar for ten days so they can rest and regroup. Unfortunately, <coughs> I don't think we have the resources to play host for them for the next ten days. So we're gonna have to deny their request. Minyaka needs rescue. What happened to Minyaka? She's got hypothermia. Is she going into labor? She's in labor. Okay. Now, do they all suck at doctoring? Doctor skill of one, doctor skill of zero, and doctor skill of zero. Okay. Let's let Tronka go ahead and rescue Minyaka. And. Minyaka, I think we need to schedule schedule her um, her childbirth. Gather for birth. There we go. Um, let's have Tronka as the doctor, and um, Voronov does not need to participate. Um, before we do this, though, Tronka, you need to clean the bedroom. We need to do um, we need to do this with a perfectly clean bedroom. Uh, Minyaka, for some reason, I don't think we can start the uh, the childbirth anymore. I, I think Minyaka is going into labor alone. We missed our opportunity to have Tronka help. All right, luckily, without any uh, doctor, we had a healthy baby. Um, the chance of a healthy birth at this quality level is 88%. Minyaka's age, 50% quality. Indoors, 5% quality. Room cleanliness, 0%. Bed health effects, 0%. Loved one present, 0%. The, the baby's name is Baby Gorilla. I love it. Um... So we should keep the last name of the mother, Manyaka. Um, but I like keeping Gorilla as a nickname. That's a fantastic nickname. Um, Ragu Bison. Nerargua, that's too hard to pronounce. Orange. Gador. Gator Gorilla, I like it. Gator Gorilla. All right. Fantastic. Um, Tronka. Can you go ahead and put this baby into her crib? Thank you. What's Voronov doing? Voronov is cheering up Minyaka. What a nice guy. What a stand-up guy. I'm sure nothing weird will happen. All right. What is Voronov up to these days? Still has hay to haul, huh? Voronov finally finished all the hauling jobs and is now up to cleaning. If I go to um, architect orders, I think we should chop all these wood stumps. 
Let uh, let nothing go to waste. Get all the wood we can from these chopped trees. We're going to go through it very quickly with all these torches and campfires. All right. Um, do we have an option for building any, like, animal... Uh, not animal, sorry. I keep saying animal instead of baby. Um, any psychologists watching can make of that what you will. Um, something... Somebody's starving. Oh, nobody's starving anymore. Um, anyways, uh, it doesn't look like until we research furniture we're going to be able to build any baby decorations or toys in this room. So Gorilla is just going to have to survive without toys for the time being. Vinyaka is up and about, putting putting Gorilla somewhere safe. Vinyaka, I need you to equip this knife. And then next, um, I think we need to make a stool for... Manyaka to feed gorilla in this room to breastfeed so we'll have a breastfeeding stool right there for her because I noticed she took the baby all the way over here to this room to breastfeed all right Manyaka has gotten food poisoning of course she has everyone's just getting food poisoning yeah, it's been real brutal so far but there's only one way for us to get past all this food poisoning business, and that's to level up Tronka's cooking ability. Tronka will get there eventually. The more he cooks, the better he'll become. That or will eventually recruit a cook that it's actually good from the get-go. Alright. Voronov is finally cleaning up this place. Fantastic. And once he's done all cleaning, I think we should finally be able to get some research done. Definitely not going to get... Oh, Trunk is doing research anyways. Definitely not going to get complex clothing uh, done before this winter's over, but we'll have it for next winter. Poor Manyaka has to walk through the cold with her baby just to feed it. Um, I forgot to ask. Gorilla is a male. Okay. Gorilla is a male. I think a more pressing research option besides clothing is actually going to be furniture since we're not going to be able to finish clothing. We're not going to be able to finish clothing before the winter so we should research furniture instead. I'd rather get furniture up and going as soon as possible so we can build a school desk and educate Gorilla with a proper education. We're going to invest a lot of resources into this child, so hopefully when he grows up, he will be a valuable asset to the colony. I mean, there's other reasons to be... I mean, we actually care about the child's well-being too, but... I mean, what can you say? We need... We need skilled colonists. The best way is to... Uh, raise the future how you want them to be. It is the 9th of December. I think there's 15 days in every month in this game, so we're almost out of winter and into spring. This spring, I think we will make a new growing zone. And we will grow. It's going to be a small one. We will grow um, heel root. We don't need to allow sewing right now though because it's too cold for the heel root to grow. But yeah, so we'll have our um, food, our rice from here. We'll have a harvest of hay grass here. I don't know how much hay grass we're going to need to grow to feed all these animals. Once They can start grazing in the spring again, so maybe we don't need to try to get two harvests. We can just try to get one harvest for the um, for the whole year. We'll see. Um, and then, of course, we'll have Hiru here, and I think that'll get us through. Um, we are stockpiling alpaca wool, so when we eventually do research clothing, we'll be able to make a whole bunch. There we go. Look, we just got 45 more wool. We got another harvest. Vornov is busy vomiting. I need you to clean this kitchen. This kitchen is filthy, and it's going to give us more food poisoning. Which, funny enough, is actually the reason it's filthy to begin with, but 
Hey, we got to solve one problem first. All right, now Voronov is just going to go do some recreation. I think that's fine. Voronov has earned it. Voronov has been very helpful around the colony. Tronka is getting some good work done. We're already 36 out of 450. How is Tronka doing with uh, his intellectual level? He's leveling up pretty fast. He's almost to level four. Um, that's actually pretty good. I think he'll be a decent researcher in due time. It's He's a little slow right now, but we'll get there. It's a grizzly bear in our animal pen. Hmm. Do we dare attack the grizzly bear? I don't know if that's such a smart idea. I don't know if that's such a smart idea. I think we'll leave the grizzly bear be. I don't want him eating our livestock, that's for sure. But at the same time, I think going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the grizzly bear might just spell out the end of our colony at this, this rate. Okay, Minyaka. What are you up to now? Still breastfeeding? Okay. When you go back, I'm going to have you finish construction of this stool so you no longer have to travel all the way here um, just to feed the baby. Tronka has been inspired. The next item, art, or furniture he creates will be two quality levels at higher than he would otherwise be. All right. That's good to know. If we have any important uh, furniture or artworks, we'll have Chanka do it. This stool is not important, so we'll have Minyaka do it. All right. I need you to prioritize constructing the wooden stool first, and then you can go to bed. You'll thank me in the morning. It's a good wooden stool. Who knew? Quest active, stash of valuables. We've intercepted message about a collection of valuables worth $1,000, not far from Oswar. It's got a tech print for compact weaponry. We don't need that. Um, for those of you who aren't super familiar with the game, I think a tech print just allows you to start researching that technology without its prerequisites. So if we go into the research tree, you can see, like if I wanted to research solar panels, for example, I would need electricity first um, and you know a bunch of other things. That would just let me research it directly. They're usually not worth it, because the prerequisites usually exist for a reason. I'd rather just progress through the technology tree um, naturally. Organically. If something like technology can't even be organic to begin with. So, with a new baby, we need to start making plans to take care of this baby. So I think we're going to have the kid's bedroom. Um, right across from the parents' bedroom right here. I think that makes the most sense, which means we're going to need to build a new structure to house um, Voronov. Voronov can get his own um, private little house. There's a flash storm. Hopefully no fires get set anywhere, anywhere close by to our base. Just want to stay zoomed out and make sure we're paying attention for fires. Okay, the flash storm is over. Um, Let's go into planning mode. Orders, plan. And I think we're gonna have Voronov's house just across the street. Um, this this is a nice house. We might actually eventually move the prison somewhere else so we can increase you know space in this house. Um, let's have... Um, Let's have Voronov's house look like this. I want to avoid making everything just a big rectangle. I think this is a nice looking, nice looking house for him. It'll be big, um, but I think I think it's nice to give colonists a little bit of space. No need to jam them in like sardines. Let's go ahead and build some wooden walls and start making this bedroom a reality. Voronov, you're getting an upgrade. Speaking of building a prison, I think it would probably make sense to put the prison somewhere more internal to the base, so it's less easy to break out of and escape. 
So for the time being, let's have this be our prison right here. A little three by three cell. We can go to structure. We can make a door right here and we can make walls around this prison. We can go to borders, chop wood. We can chop all these trees around it. Once we move the prisoner out, we can replan the floor plan for this house to accommodate the kid's bedroom and the parent's bedroom. The kid's bedroom probably doesn't need to be as big as the parents, so we'll, we'll adjust it slightly. Go ahead and um, haul these rocks out of here. Our stockpile dumping zone is going to fill up real quickly with all these rocks and we're not going to be able to start clearing through them until we get stone cutting researched. So for the time being we're just going to have to make our dumping zone a little bigger to accommodate. Poor Goliath. Our dog skeleton is just riding out here. I hope it's not disturbing our colonists too much. So let's include wood floor down here. And we can make a sleeping spot. Furniture. Where is sleeping spot? Am I blind? Turns out I am blind. Um, so this will be our prison. We're going to set this for prisoners. And we'll be nice. Our prisoners can also have a table and a stool to eat at. The stool can double as a nightstand. All right, the flash storm, that's from ages ago. We've got cargo pods. Wow, what a lucky haul. The cargo pods dropped a bunch of jade from the sky. We can make some beautiful art out of this jade. We have to recruit a good artist first. I don't believe we have any good artists. Minyaka's skill is actually seven, never mind. Once we once we start making art, um, Minyaka will probably be able to produce some pretty good ones. Let's look at our quests. Active. Poor little van. This is taking care of the beaver van. Um, let's see. Is looking for a safe settlement to take care of her pet alpha beaver for nine days. The shuttle's arriving in 16 hours. We've almost completed this quest, which will give us a masterwork recurve bow. Fantastic. A new quest has become available. It's called Guarding Sleepy. Tiberius uh, Deer, Duke of the Empire of God, has been caught in bed with the wrong person. He imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection. Now he wants you to keep the prisoner, Sam Sleepy Irwin, caged until the scandal blows over in 10 days. He's suffering from paralytic abrasia and must be kept in bed. All right. So he can either offer us honor. He can offer us a side trainer, which gives us psychic abilities. Honor will also give us psychic abilities. What does Beckon do? I'm guessing Beckon causes someone to move forwards towards you. That wouldn't be bad to put on Tronka, for example. We will eventually have somebody, you know, climb the ranks of nobility, but why don't we take the Psy Trainer first? All right, we just got to take care of our prisoner. How hard can that be? Minyaka? No, Tronka. Arrest this man. Arrest this man into our new prison cell. This uh, room is apparently unroofed, so let's get Minyaka to prioritize working on this room. There we go. Now this prisoner hopefully won't freeze.
Wait. Did I just see Voronov departure? I clicked that message away, but apparently Voronov just left. That's tragic. I thought Voronov would be a permanent addition to the colony. We're just back down to Manyaka and Tronka. Oh, sad days. We really need a third colonist. This is getting ridiculous. What are we training this beaver to do? I did not know we were training the beaver. We're training the beaver in tameness, apparently. Whatever. Alright, any other quests that give us access to new colonists we're gonna have to take. Alright, let's plan the new floor plan. Shaman Merchant from Pact of Born. A caravan from Pact of Born is approaching. They are a Shaman Merchant. They will hang around the colony. Okay, so we can trade with them. But before we do that, let's go to orders planning. So I think we're gonna have... The master bedroom. Looks something like this. And the kids bedroom can be a little bit smaller. Um, the kids bedroom can probably have a side door. No, actually, I like the door here. I think we're gonna get rid of the door here. Um, so what we're gonna need to do is build a copy here, here, and here. We're gonna need to reinstall this bed. Um, I think we'll reinstall the bed here. I think that's a sensible place for the bed to be. Alright. We can deconstruct this and this. And we can move Minyaka in to do some trading. Alright, let's see what they're offering. What we have. bunch of lances. Those are going to be really expensive and probably not worth it at this point. Almanac of Boy. Mental break chance. 4.1% per hour. Okay, that's not worth it. It gives us a mental break chance while we're researching by reading this book. Not worth it. Plus steel bioferret, wake up, herbal medicine. We'll take all five of the herbal medicines. Pemmican, Neutroamine, um, we could probably sell some of our wildlife. Do we need to though? We've got six alpacas now. Any age zero alpacas that are fully grown. 219 for this male. We have another female here, 163. Not fully grown yet, so we won't sell it. All right. All right, so we're back to no more research. We don't have enough spare time on our hands to do research. And our food stockpiles are dwindling too. Shuttle arrived for van. All right, let's load up. Set to load, van, accept. Minyaka. No, we'll have Chanka do it. Chanka, carry Van to the shuttle. We'll get this masterwork recurve bow. They left us a left us a cloth burka. All right, let's send it. Quest complete. And the pods are arriving with our bow. Chanka, I want you to go ahead and equip this bow. And I want you to haul this bow into storage. And then I want you to haul this silver into storage. Okay, so we're uh, reorganizing our bedroom for the kid. Um, so we have one house here, 
we have a house set up for our next colonist whenever that colonist arrives. Might be a little while before any colonists do arrive. Who's going to want to live at this settlement anyways? Probably be uncomfortable living with one couple in the middle of the wilderness and no technology. No modern medicine, no heat, no air conditioning, not even clothing. <laughs> Tronka decided to put on the burka. We'll let Tronka wear it for now. Uh, we're probably going to take it off the Tronka eventually. I don't like the look of the burkas. I don't like that it covers up their face. It adds less personality to the game when you can't see their face. Alright, it is time for Azamite Advent. We just need to have a gathering spot. Um, a table. Or a shrine. Let's do it. When they wake up in the morning, we'll uh, start the advent ceremony. This eclipse is cool, it's making the uh, ground all colorful. I don't know how to start a ceremony. I guess I need a um, ritual spot. Misk. Ideology, ritual spot. Let's have this as our ritual spot for now. Is it begin as of my advent? All right, fantastic. Speaker, this position is best done by a colonist holding the social role of high priest. We don't have one of those yet. We'll just have fun. It might be a bad um, advent, but it's better than no advent. By doing these rituals, we give ourselves development points that let us further flesh out our um, ideology. Minyaka just ditched the uh, celebration to go feed um, Gorilla. It was fun apparently. Everyone participating in the ritual gave us a plus five bo mood bonus for six days. We've discovered the location of an ancient complex. The total quality was 30%. Due to the quality of the ritual, your development points have increased by plus three from one to four. Wow, that was really good. Really good. Um, I don't know how to check the ideal. Oh, here it is. So we have 4 out of 10 um, development points. Next we can add some more memes. We have a self-tamed raccoon. Let's slaughter it. We don't need a self-tamed raccoon. In fact, let's go and look at some of the wildlife and let's do a little more hunting. We could hunt some donkeys, hunt a doe. Um, Anything that'll give us plain leather. I don't know if alpacas give us plain leather. They probably don't, so not worth hunting them. I wonder what Minyak is getting up to all day. Minyak has all these construction work to do, but isn't doing it. Minyak is said to construct with priority too. First priority is taking care of the children and the prisoners and the animals. That's actually probably a lot of work for one person to do between the one child and the six animals, or seven, seven animals I think we have, and the prisoner. Yeah, that's probably why she isn't getting much of a chance to construct. That's fine, she's doing all the important jobs. We have a raid. They're sending one person with a wooden club after us. All right. We're gonna let our colonists get some sleep while this raider has to walk across the entire map. Better our um, colonists are well rested before the raider gets here. All right, it's time to recruit them and get ready for the raid now. All right, apparently there's a warg hunting us as well. That's unfortunate. We need to focus on... Jesus. We might die here. Alright, Trunk, I need you to focus on this guy. Minyaka can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the warg. Oh, 
Are we winning this battle? The Warwick is dying in five hours. Minyak is in no immediate danger. Okay, we are winning this battle. Okay, Minyaka, I need you to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Azogaka. Tronka, I need you here, and I need you supporting. Okay, unfortunately, this guy died again, so we can't recruit him. He would have been decent, actually. He's really good at plants, which is a great trait to have. He's really good at melee. He's kind and an optimist. Optimist is so good. It's a permanent plus six mood bonus. Kind means that our colonists are going to like him. I don't know what Reckless does. Few people in the Azokaga faction, the happier it is. Oh, so he doesn't like big factions. Well, we're pretty small right now. Um, yeah, he would have been a real, real decent recruit. Shame. Well. Oh well. What can you do? Let's uh, assign this to hunt and let's have Tronka prioritize hunting this warg so we can slaughter it and take its um, meat and its hide. Do wargs give us like wolf hide or something? Wolf skin? I guess we'll find out. Um, Minyaka, you need to rest until healed. Go to work. Bed rest. Minyaka is set to priority one bed rest, so I don't know why Minyaka isn't bed resting. But Tronka should prioritize cleaning the bedroom and get ready to doctor. Okay, Minyaka will not go to bed. Her wounds are going to get infected if we don't treat them. Alright. I need you to tend to Minyaka straight away. There we go, Tronka. First, I need you to clean the bedroom so our tend quality will be higher. There you go. Perfect. Okay, 10 quality, 43%. I think that's pretty decent. I don't think we're going to get infections off of 43% and 25% 10 quality. Perfect. All right, we're getting better at this whole doctoring thing. Hopefully we'll see less casualties. Um, since we don't have anyone in this room, we can probably deconstruct these torches. No need to heat an empty room. All right, Trunk is going to bed. Perfect. All right, one more raid under our belt. I think we might want to equip Minyaka with a club instead of a knife. The reason being, I think with a club, we can be less lethal. I think clubs give bruises, which tend to be less lethal. So we can start recruiting more prisoners instead of just killing them outright. So Minyaka, why don't you go equip the steel club? You can leave your knife there. We can pick up the knife again later if we need. Okay, we'll try this strategy out. We'll see if it works, if we can get some live captures. All right, Minyaka is healing up. Minyaka, you are no longer on bed rest. I need you working. You need to take care of the prisoner. You need to take care of the animals. How's Sleepy doing? Sleepy is good on food and sleep. Okay, perfect. Now Minyaka is getting caught up on some of this construction work. Um, we need another wall here, and we can deconstruct this. I think we can, yeah. I like this feel to the bedroom. Mm, I think it'll look better if we give a little more space in the kids' bedroom. Alright. Now that we have the kids' bedroom set up, we can start prioritizing research again. Now that there's no more construction jobs queued up. 
When they finish with their normal everyday tasks, they'll start researching. So there's probably lots of cleaning to do as well. And actually we should finish these floors right here. We don't like having dirt floors. All right, I think we're gonna call the episode here. We've had a productive, um, we've had a productive day. Unfortunately, we lost uh, Voronov almost as quickly as we got him. Um, but we did have a safe and healthy childbirth. We had a successful ritual that means we're well on our way to reforming our ideologian. And um, we have a new strategy with um, a club instead of a knife for hopefully not um, killing our, our raiders outright and being able to capture them and potentially recruit them over to our side. So we'll try that out in the next episode and hopefully we will get back up to three colonists again, um, maybe even four. We'll also keep a lookout for any quests that offer colonists joining as a reward. Those tend to be pretty good. Um, this is going to be really good. We'll put it on Tronco or Minyaka when we get it. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.